and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys something really simple. Um, people have been asking about the show me, the new one, the second gen. How does it work? How do we get downloader, developer options, all that stuff. So yeah, we're going to get started. If you guys are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Um, okay, if you guys are interested in this one, shoot me an email, rojasentertainment.gmail.com. I'm letting this one go for pretty cheap. So, uh, yeah, let's come here to the show me device. I already have, uh, well, I'm, I'm about to get downloader, but what you do is you come to the top and you hit that little search bar and then you hit it again. And all you got to do is just type in downloader, or you could also use this, uh, Google assist and say downloader. And there you go. So we're going to click on this guy we are going to install it. It's gonna say pending. This is coming from the Google Play Store, so it's it's verified by Play Protect, as you can see. Give it a few seconds. It doesn't really take that long. It's pretty quick. And then once you're done, hit open. Now, for most people from here, they're kind of like, cool, I'm done, I know what to do. So this is what you need. You need to hit allow, then you need to hit okay. Now, from here, whatever kind of short codes you have, this is what you're going to do. Um, for us, because we're searching for downloader, we're going to go to browse. Now, what I like to do is I come to the top. I hit that little cursor all the way to the, the URL. It says press and hold to speak. So I'm going to put um, google.com. And it says while using the app, allow Gboard to record. So I'm going to while using the app. So I'm going to try it again. Google.com. Um, and it just, it typed in all of google.com for me. So you need to delete the whole thing. Try it again. www.google.com. And there you go. Hit next. Very handy. Very easy. Now I'm going to come down here. Um, and the reason why I did that is because I do like to use Google as their web, as their web browser. Um, and we are going to do IDA 64 APK. So there we go. Um, it says it's in the Google Play Store, which we already have the Google Play Store. But for some reason, when I searched Ida 64, it wasn't there. So I'm going to hit install here just to show you guys. Um, and then I'm going to hit install. So it's going to say, please sign in. So there you go. I'm going to hit that other option. See app in Play Store. Um, and it's not opening up. So the alternative, instead of using Ida64 from the Google Play Store, is come down here and get it from, I like to personally get it from Ida64 APK for Android, for from APK Pure. Um, the official site is Ida64, but there's a ton of ads and it sometimes just gets super buggy. So if you do come to APK Pure, um, just come down just the tad and it just, there it goes. It says download. Um, if you click on this, it's going to send you to this like ad thing. Um, so if you get something like this, that chances are it means you got the wrong one. Um, this is going to like Epic Games. So hit the back button on your remote. It gets tricky. Um, and here it is at the top. My face was actually blocking it. So we're going to click on this. You're going to get this pop up, hit close and then give it a few seconds here. And then this thing is going to open up. Just come down here for a little bit. And right here, this is the one that you want. Download APK pure. So once this, this is going, it's going to say status downloading files about nine megabytes, pretty small, um, literally takes a few seconds and this like pretty much once you're here on downloader you put the code in i'm just showing you guys exactly what happens when you do install it, it should be very very simple and then this is now going to be the developer option sections if you haven't uh opened it up yet so um you want to come here to settings and it's going to say apps from unknown sources install unknown apps hit allow hit the back button once and then it kind of kicks you out so what you want to do is you want to hit open you want to come uh, to your files and there is Ida 64 right there already sitting there. You don't have to research, redownload, nothing. It's already there. Click on it. It's going to start installing it this time. So you want to make sure you hit install and then done. Now, if it does say app not installed, it might be because there has been some kind of error. 
Um, and if that's the case, that's pretty much that, that that's a very, very simple fix. Um, you just want to come back here and then download a different version of it. So one last step that we're going to do here is we are going to come here to the home page and hit that little gear icon. Um, and we're going to come here to the gear icon on the top right hand corner. Um, now to open up your developer options, you want to come here to system and then you want to go to about now from here, come down towards the bottom, um, Android TV OS build. You want to hit this. I believe it's like seven, eight times. It says you're going to be now a developer hit the back button once and developer options. There it is. It's right there. Um, once you have this, you could turn certain things on debug mode when USB is connected. So USB debugging, a lot of people turn this one on. Um, so there you go. People do turn that on to install stuff. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Like once you're here, like you have developer options on, you have this on. So yeah, you should be good to go. So yeah, it seems like everything should be good. If you're missing anything, let me know in the comment section below with short codes, with downloading stuff, APKs, whatever it is. That's how you do it. Developer options on, downloaders on, allow apps from unknown sources to be turned on. You should be good. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I try to get you guys here all the latest and greatest. Um, I put you guys up here from here, whatever you do from your device, whatever apps you're downloading it, any kind of cleaners, cache cleaners, VPNs, whatever. That's how you do it. With all that being said, hope you guys are doing good. You guys take care, take care of each other. See you guys in the next one.